everyone and welcome to Project Architect. This is a new mod pack that we are playing here and we're on a server of course. If you'd like to join as per usual, uh, link to the Discord is down below and then uh, from the welcome channel you should be able to find the IP address for the uh, Project Architect server. Now this mod pack, it's, it's pretty cool. Now I, I do have to admit something, you might notice over here there's a suspicious looking hole in the ground. Um, this used to be a beautiful house because I actually, I recorded an hour worth of gameplay I, I had a blast, I had so much fun, and my audio was broken. Um, so, yeah. So we're doing it again, we're doing it again. I I didn't want to start you guys with me already having a house and stuff done, so we've cleared my pl player profile, and I, I'm back to ground one, but I did feel like I had to let you guys in on that. You know, I, I would have felt bad going in, you know, having already played. So, uh, I've been through, I had a lot of fun, so hopefully you guys have some fun uh, with this pack as well. Uh, a big focus of the pack is EMC from a mod called Project E. Um, Project E also gives us this guy here, the transmutation table. So the quick rundown, the very basics, is cobblestone is worth one EMC. Um, for example, a block of diamond is worth 73,728 EMC, right? That's a lot of EMC. <laughs> if you were to mine 73,728 cobblestone, you could turn it into a block of diamond. You could turn all of the all of that cobblestone into a block of diamond um, using a transmutation table and some other stuff from the mod. So that's that's the basics. Just putting them out there. That's that's pretty much all you need to understand to I guess really make the most of this mod. Um, and lots of different things have different amounts. Obviously, obviously cobblestone's one, but then you can see like so stone. So it's like instead of smelting things, you can just transmutate a cobble into a stone. Um, there's some other things like for example. If we go and mine coal in a second, that's worth 128 EMC. So that's a lot of, you know, um, cobble and whatnot. Yeah, that's that's pretty much the basics. Um, so I, I'll i tell you what. I'll, as awkward as this might feel, I'm going to replicate what I did in the episode that doesn't exist anymore. Um, I have a feeling I'll be able to do it all a lot faster since I sort of know what I'm doing. Um, <laughs> like it's There'll be a little bit less... Uh, what am I trying to say here? Um, discovery, but with that being said, I still think, um, I mean, we can have some fun. I just realized my team color in the top right on that map also changed. Oh, I've unlocked the spider trinket. So, so this is another thing. Um, I guess trinkets are in the pack. Um, what you want to do for this is search up, I believe by default, it is on the R key. I've gone ahead and already changed mine. I, I changed it in the video that I recorded previously. I changed mine to three. And it is the open trinkets uh, GUI. So I uh, did three on my numpad. So now, when I press three, we we get this thing opened up. Currently, we have one slot. We can unlock another one with 15 XP levels. Uh, in this one that we do have, we can place this trinket. So you can climb the wall like a spider. Now, these are just random ones you get. Previously, I had like a witch one. But once again, we, we cleared all that. Um, so I'm actually going to plant this down again. Um, so I believe... Yeah, look at this. I can now climb, oh my god. I could climb that tree if I wanted to and just chop it down. Ooh, or I could live in the tree. Hmm, that's tempting. I, we, hmm, yeah, this is, this is actually a lot, a lot better uh, of a trinket than what I had previously. I will tell you that much. Um, okay, so, what do I want to do? Uh, I think the first thing I want to do is, um, slap my, my thing down. So, here's my transmutation table. Beautiful. I can open it up. Looks maybe a little bit scary if you've never seen the mod before, but as an example, I'm going to put in all of these books here that have an EMC value. In they go. Um, I believe you can manually place them on the fire to put them in there, like that stick. And so now we have eight EMC because we got one EMC for each of these books. So I can take out that stick we just put in and I can even take out a third one. And then we don't have any books there. Or I could take out, you know, a bunch of these animal dictionary books and then put them back in. So that's pretty cool. We can chuck in our oak logs as well. Um, we can turn them into planks and chuck that in there as well, because why not? Um, and yeah, that's pretty much the basics. You need a pickaxe to pick this guy up. Um, what I'm going to do is grab out um, as much of this as I can, I believe. Uh, we'll get a crafting table and pickaxes and stuff, assuming I'm allowed to. What's, what's going on here? Hello, Earth 2 crafting table. Huh? Am I lagging? <laughs> All right, we are in fact back in business. So I'll get a crafting table, sticks. Um, the crafting table, we can actually just chuck it in there. Why not grab another one out? Um, and here we go. Now we can make some tools. Um, so we're just going to do the basics, obviously, to start this off. Um, I'm going to get some stone. Um, 
in reality, I can probably get away with just mining one cobble and then just transmutating it all because you can even put the pickaxe back in. So I can shove that pickaxe back in. We can chuck that back in. Um, I'll grab out sticks and well, actually I don't want that many sticks. We, we don't need that many, uh, but I'll grab out some cobble as well. As you can see, we pulled out this, uh, almost a stack of it. Um, so what do we want? We want a pickaxe, we want a shovel, maybe an ax, and then a sword for good measure. And as you can see already, like things are moving a lot faster than I guess they, they typically do in a, a normal playthrough. Um, so yeah, there we go. I am going to leave my stuff here. Uh, in terms of everything else, well, I need food. I believe we have berry bushes here. And I probably, sooner rather than later, I want to actually get some food. <laughs> like some proper food, not just berries. So let's see if we can uh, take care of that situation. Ah, you might have thought that death animation looked a bit weird. Yes, there is the morph mod. One of my favorite mods. Honestly, Project uh, E is another one of my favorite mods. But what this mod lets us do is we killed a cow. So now if I press the brackets... I'm able to select this cow by uh, pressing the brackets and going to it. And then I press enter. And guess what? <laughs> yep. You guessed it. I become the cow. <laughs> okay. I'm really hoping my audio doesn't mess up for this video. I'll, there'll be a few cuts every here and there. And then uh, that'll be me checking to make sure that the audio works 1 billion percent. Because I, I have too much fun and I'm worried that I'm going to run out of the fun. You know what I mean? Like I can only be so excited about Morph. So many times, right? Um, so yeah, what I want to do is we can put this beef in here. We can, well, I mean, we can chuck the leather in and the sweet berries. Um, but what I want to do is cook the uh, the beef. So I'm going to go ahead and get a furnace, which once again, you guessed it. We'll chuck that in there just to make sure that we've got it ready. Um, we'll bring out a this, place this here. Um, boom, and beef. We'll get that cooked up. Now, beef is 64 EMC. That, that's pretty expensive in terms of food, especially since the sweet berries, I mean, they're 16 as well. You know what? It's a, it's in hindsight, it's actually pretty, pretty cheap. 64. <laughs> um, and we don't have to smelt it anymore. So I can, you know, pull out three steak, but sadly that's sort of all the steak we've got. Um, so yeah, in terms of making more EMC, obviously you can do, uh, what, what am I trying to say? What, what can you do? <laughs> um, you can make a farm, you know what I mean? You can have like a wheat farm or even like a, a berry farm and I can sell I can sell those berries back into the machine and we're playing with mods. There's quite a lot of them. It's not just Project E and then vanilla. There's quite a lot of mods. I'm sure you can automate pretty much any farm you can think of. You know what? I was trying to parkour. I, I have the spider trinket so I can just go up here. Um, that is another thing about this. Oh, I can't really stay on the wall though. I need to dig the hole out, go up here, and there we are. <laughs> um, but yeah, that is the other thing about this playthrough is stuff like that is going to make my experience in this specific run that I'm doing um, or, you know, playthrough a lot easier than if I didn't. You know what I mean? Like I can pretty much go wherever I want now. <laughs> um, maybe not wherever, but you, you sort of get the idea. Like I, I have a lot more freedom now that I've uh, been able to climb walls. Whereas previously I didn't have this. So I was doing a lot more, you know, different things, I guess you'd say. Um, oh, oh, God. Okay. It doesn't like climbing down the wall, I'll tell you that much. Um, all right, what we're going to do is chuck in the coal. Um, another thing we can do is coal is worth 128 EMC, right? It's pretty expensive. A torch, a singular torch, is worth four. Obviously, four torches is not worth the same as a coal. But a charcoal is worth 32 EMC. So you might be picking up what I'm putting down. That's a better deal to, to make the torches out of charcoal than coal. So what we'll do, since since everything's as an EMC value, right? What I'm going to do is I'm just going to make a charcoal for what? 8 EMC, for 40 EMC so that we can make torches and charcoal. And that beats us using this coal that's way more expensive. Um, yeah, that's, that's pretty much it. Um, so I'm going to do that. We're going to get some torches because I... I'm going to be honest, I don't see the sun, but, <laughs> but I'm pretty sure it's out there. I don't know why I don't see the sun, but I'm pretty sure it's out there. Um, so yeah, we got charcoal now, so I can chuck that in there. We can pull the charcoal back out. This um, middle circle, by the way, this area here is obviously for like fuels. So at the moment, coal and charcoal. And then the outside is just like random junk. Now you can go through the tabs or you can even search. So you can search like, oh, not coggle, <laughs> cobble. There we go. And it shows up. Just thought I'd uh, show that out. Um, what I'm going to do now is create torches, like so. Boom. We can chuck the torches back in here. And now I can pull out a stack. 
There we go. Nice. We had a stack of torches. We've got our, our stake. We don't have a lot of it, but we have enough. And now I'm going to run in this direction. Now, you might be wondering, why is he running in this direction? Well, as you know, <laughs> I did I did a, an hour playthrough. Oh, I'm glad I didn't break all the sugar cane, but I guess I'll grab that as well. I do happen to know that there is a ravine over here. You know what? The spider thing is making traveling a lot harder because instead of letting me jump, it starts climbing, um, which is a bit rough. <gasps> you know what? Previously, I didn't think about this. Um, previously, I didn't kill a bee because I, I didn't want to, but it would let me fly, wouldn't it? I think it would. I'll tell you what. I'm going to go back to the cave because previously in the cave, I found a, a um, uh, what do you, what, what's the word I'm looking for? A bat. I found a bat in the cave. Um, so I'm hoping we'll find another bat. Um, in terms of the ores I got, I didn't replace them. So like, they're just gone. Um, I, what I did do previously, like here's another piece. I, I brought the water down here so that we could get in the ravine. But I, I also wasn't sure if I wanted to still use the ravine since I knew it was here and it sort of takes away from the the charm of, I guess, like going in blind, right? But I mean, I, I didn't grab much stuff. Um, well, well, actually, yeah, I didn't grab much. So for, you know, I'll give you a little rundown. There was some like iron over there. <laughs> there was uh, some iron over there. I ended up jumping, see, see um, that cobble there. Yep, I jumped down there, went up. There was like cobble and uranium and stuff. Oh, a squid, I want a squid. Uh, but yeah, th this ravine is incredibly convenient. I'll tell you that much. I've not been in there, but I, ooh. But I see a bat, and I want the bat. He's kind of... Is he meant to be... He, I don't know if he's... Is he okay? I don't think he's okay. I still want to kill him, though. I want to kill him. Um, What do you reckon we do? Do you reckon I risk it for the biscuit? The problem is I don't think I can one-tap the bat. Oh, you ready? He's in He's in swinging range. Come on. Come on. <laughs> come on, 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 come on. Come on. Come on, come on, come on, come on, yes, yes, okay, 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 so we killed a bat, now a bat is really cool because I can hover over him, if I press tilde, that's the button below the escape uh, button on your keyboard, that marks it as a favor, so I'm currently transforming oh, into a bat, what this bat lets you do is if you spam click spacebar like you're flapping your wings, you can fly, <laughs> you can fly, it's it's not the greatest because obviously you got to be a bit careful with it uh, because another thing is look at your health. It's very, very low, um, but it's extremely convenient. Um, another thing, let me just slowly, oh, slowly make my way. It's a lot scarier coming down. Um, but another thing you can do is if you hold down that, uh, that tilde button again, it's now marked as a favorite. So you can easily switch um, back and forth between them. Um, while I'm here, I do want some ores. Oh, the squid looked like it died. Um, let's go back into Dewstream. If that's going to work. Yep, there we go. Um, we'll grab some iron while we're here. We'll, I mean, we'll try to grab a few ores while we're here. Because ideally, I don't want to just be sitting there AFK during the night. Oh, I just realized I don't even have a house. We don't even have a... Ooh. We don't even have a... um. What, what's the word I'm trying to say? A bed. We don't have a bed. I do see sheep on the map that we're probably going to go deal with. Um, appetite up there, I think. Some more uraninite. Basically, you want to pick up anything, by the way, because each and every single thing you pick up um, can likely be exchanged into EMC. And it might be a lot. It might be not. Uh, but you don't know until you get it, pretty much. What's that? Is that some uranium? Uraninite. I happen to know um, that normal uranium, so not uraninite, is actually worth quite a bit. Uh, oh, oh, I just heard a scary noise. Um, oh, I just realized. Oh, I didn't want to do that. What's this? I'm just gonna run. I'm gonna run. You guys probably can't see anything in here. I don't want you guys to just be in the dark. Um, so let's go here. We'll turn back into a bat. <laughs> and I'll see if I can make my way out of here. Come on. Yep. Okay. <laughs> I'll tell you what. We're gonna fly back up here. Oh. Oh my god. Okay. Flying is a bit scary. Especially when the server lags a little bit. <laughs> That's very, very scary. Um, but I'm gonna try to go back to the base. Let me see. Can I just... Uh, yeah, there we go. Are we going faster now that I sprint jumped? Honestly, I don't think we are. Um, here we go. Make our way down here. Um, so we've got torches. So I'm going to land here, switch back into a human form. I'm going to press F7, and that shows me all of the possible spots where mobs can spawn. Yellow means they can spawn there at night. 
Red means they can spawn there at any time of the day. So for example, over here, there's probably some red ones. Yeah, so red means they can spawn at any time of the day. Um, and I'm just going to light this area up. Now, I'll probably cut to me coming back with it all lit up because, I mean, it's dark. You guys can't see anything. And it's boring to watch me just place torches everywhere. So it's sort of like a... It's a win-win. It's a win-win. So I'll be back with hopefully this area lit up. Okay, um, now I'm not done yet, but I thought that was at the start. I, oh, uh, zombie. I thought that was a... um. What am I trying to say here? I'm, I'm really struggling. I thought that... Oh my god, I thought that was an Enderman. Um, clearly... It is not. <laughs> um, okay, you know what? While it's night time, let me actually change into a zombie. That should stop other mobs from actually trying to kill us because it they they'll think that we're a uh, we're a zombie. Um, now you might hear zombie noises all the time. That's coming from me, the zombie. <laughs> uh, we will have to watch out for daytime because we will burn up in the in the daylight. So we do need to watch out for that. But as we should be able to see here in a second, that um. Spider over there sh hopefully shouldn't bother us. He should just be like, yeah, I don't mind you. I wonder if he'd attack. Uh, no, he wouldn't attack you during the day. But yeah, look. Oh no, the scary, scary guy. If I did attack him, he would retaliate. So it's not like a get out of jail free card, but it's sort of like a avoid jail free card. Um, so there we go. We've done a pretty good job. I do sort of want to go kill that purple shiny whatever it was. Um, is it still there? That is a good question. Let me press F7 to get rid of that stuff for you. Um, if it's still just around the corner... Yeah, it's up in the tree. Hmm, I can climb. <laughs> well, why shouldn't I? Um, oh, we almost fell. What do you reckon? I reckon I do some of this. I could become a bat, but the health is so low that I don't think that's the play. Um, let's break into here. If, if it'll let us. And let's just go for it. Oh, okay. It didn't do too much damage. It did not do too much. Oh, and we killed it. Okay, we killed the ghost fish. We got a purple soul fire from Druid Craft, and we got the fish's uh, identity. <laughs> I guess you'd call it. I don't know what to call it. We got we got its soul. Oh, let's let's see if we can ease our way down here. I don't want to die. Um, okay, so I'll run back up here to switch so that I'm not in you know enemy territory. <laughs> I guess we'll call that. Um, we'll jump up here. All right, let's see, let's see. So, it is called the Dreadfish. I'm going to press Enter. I am now transforming into a fish. Here I am, a fish. We can obviously fly just like we could before. You have to keep tapping it in order to stay up. Um, can I breathe underwater now? Hey, it's not going down. I think that means we definitely can. Let's um see. Um, it does look like there is the underwater, like, um, what do you call it, nerf or whatever, debuff, um, that stops you from being able to mine fast. So sadly, that's not a thing, but, okay, yeah, sure. Um, I'll turn back into a zombie so that at least I can, you know, be normal human size. Um, beautiful. How much is the rotten flesh? The rotten flesh was a decent amount. Oh, we've got carrot as well. Uranonite, that is actually worth quite a lot. I regret not getting as much as I did. Lapis. Did we mine lapis? I didn't realize that we mined lapis, but I'll take it. I'll take it. Um, iron ore you can't transform. We're going to have to smelt that. Um, so, oh, I already had a furnace, but it's fine. Let's go here. Um, you know what? We've only got two iron ore, so let's just grab two uh, two planks and get these uh, smelted up. That should be good. Um, okay, in terms of the base, what do I want to do? Um, there's probably a few things. One is I want to come over here and I guess we'll grab some copper while we're here. Um, copper's not worth that much, so it's not too, too, uh, big of a deal. But I want some building blocks, um, to obviously, well, build with. Um, we've obviously got wood and stone and stuff. Um, oh yeah, oh actually no, we don't have stone yet. Let's actually do that. Let's, um, let's get cobble and a plank. Um, and we'll chuck this stuff in here. Um, cobble and a plank. We'll get some stone. This guy's obviously got iron, so now we can add iron to our list. Um, you know what? Let's upgrade our tools. I mean, we might as well, right? Let's grab out some iron. Oh, we just brought out a stack of iron. Isn't that incredible? Man, this this mod really is something. Or this, uh, yeah, mod pack. Um, okay, so. Yeah, w w I mean, there's not really much to say. We're just grabbing all the tools that we uh, rightfully have earned. Um, let's go, what, that. And then let's do... Uh, 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 uh. Yeah, 
Sure, whatever. Okay. And then we can put the rest of this back in here. So this transmutation table, as you can see at the moment, is sort of acting like a chest. Or... You know what's a good uh, explanation? It's like a refined storage or an applied energistics terminal, right? It's got all of your stuff stored in it. Um, and you just bring it out as you want it. And as long as you've got enough EMC in there, you, you're good. You know what I mean? Like you don't have to worry at all. You've got infinite of anything that'll go in there. Um, what else do we want? Uh, well, we've got the stone now. So what I'm going to do here, let's um, chuck the stone in here. Let's um, withdraw the stone again. Let's turn the stone into stone bricks and chuck them back in. So now we've got stone bricks learnt that we can just pull right out of here. Um, hmm, what do we want to do here? Um, uh, there's a f there's honestly a few options we can do here um, <laughs> in, in terms of building a base is, is essentially what I'm trying to think about here. One thing we can do is I believe it is an iron and a stick. We can actually create a chisel. Um, so... so a big part of this mod pack, I believe, um, it was, I, I assume I mentioned, but it was created by a chosen architect who's a, uh, a big uh, YouTuber for modern Minecraft. And I think a focus of this pack is to be able to build easily. So things like the chisel, that is a really awesome building tool, because of the way that this mod works, we can just bring it, you know what, like day one, we've got, it's worth getting a chisel because we've got plenty of iron. Like we can just grab a, a chisel. Um, what you can do with the chisel, I believe, is we can grab out stone bricks um, we're actually going to need three stone for this as well, I think. Actually, no, uh, no, I think we're good. Um, but we can grab the stone bricks and we can put them in the chisel. You open it by right clicking and we can place these in and look at this. All of these are different stone brick vario uh, variables, v variables, variants. <laughs> so like, um, some of them connect with like, you know, connected textures. Um, some of them don't, uh, what do we want to have as, what do you reckon? Stone bricks as a floor, maybe. Um, we could do it as a wall. Should we do it as a wall? Hmm. I reckon we do it as a wall, and I reckon we use the wide bricks. Yeah. Why? Why not? Why not? Um. Previously, when I made the house, just to you know keep you guys on the same uh same what, what am I trying to say again? <laughs> the, the same page. Uh, I used cobblestone wide bricks. So hey, this time we're going straight to the good stuff. Oh, it's also becoming daytime. Let's switch back. No, I wasn't fast enough. <laughs> Get in the water. <laughs> okay. We need to switch back into a human now because it's daytime and zombies obviously burn up in the daylight. So that's pretty cool as well. Um, so, that, oh, there's another really cool thing I want to show you guys. I This mod pack, I, I love it. It's got everything I like. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> like, I, I'm really, I am a big fan of it. Um, and I'm not just saying that. I, I am disappointed that that original video didn't, uh, the audio messed up because it was like, like I'm some of the things I'm saying I said before, you know what I mean? And it's, a I feel a little bit bad, <laughs> you know what I mean? But I, I can't help it. It's the alternative is just like no video, which obviously isn't really an option. Um, but yeah, what I want to show you guys, um, if we grab another iron out and then we grab two sticks out, we can create a build a, a, a construction wand is what they call it. An iron wand from construction, uh, wand mode. Construction wand mod. <laughs> Sorry, for some reason I struggled to say that. Um, let's grab more stone bricks out, I guess. Um, and we might want to transform some of them back into the wide bricks. So let's do that for a few of them. Um, what we can do with this wand is we can hover over this and you might see there's like this um, black box outline that goes pretty much all the way around. I don't think it goes fully around, but it goes around as much as it can. And when I right click, it places all those blocks instantly. Um, so obviously it missed there. Um, it's just long enough. It does what? 27 blocks. So I'm guessing this is 28 blocks, um, which I guess makes sense. Um, so let's do another one. So I'm going to jump, place it. And there we go. And then we can place that there. Build across there. And hey, hey presto. Is it, is it, that's the same, right? We have a um, we have a, a wall and a door. Um, so, so what's next? What do we want to do? Um, well, we need a floor. Uh, now I happen to remember, I'm pretty sure there is, let's change into a bat so that we can, you know, scale this, uh, area pretty easily. I'm pretty sure there's marble. Oh, in fact, this is marble right here, I think, right? Yes, marble. Okay, beautiful. I'm going to grab a marble. Once again, we only need one. I might also, is this, no, it's limestone. Um, oh, we can grab it from here, actually. I would like some sand because we probably want glass, right? Do I have the inventory? I do. Um, while I'm here as well, we'll grab clay. I should probably, we're close enough to the base. I can probably turn back into a human. That would probably be uh, 
be for the good. Let's grab gravel as well, just to get the basics, you know what I mean? You, you take what you can, is what I say. Um, so let's run up here. Um, another thing I, I forgot to mention is this mod pack has um, animals. And I say animals instead of mobs because I'm not sure if there's any on the map. Um, there's a, a, I don't know what this mob is, a sylph or something, a sylph, or I don't know how to pronounce that, but there are animals. You will run into a, a crocodile or a grizzly bear or a penguin. Or a raccoon. So, like, the, there's there's an interesting collection of animals in this pack. And some of them are extremely scary. I'm just putting that out there as a warning. So, you, you've been warned. There you go. Um, so, what do we have? We have marble. I think I want to use marble on the floor. Um, but I do want to chisel it. I think I want to chisel it. And I think what we'll go for is possibly encased bricks. And I'll show you how these work. Um, so, what happens is... They look like this. It's like a, a frame around the bricks. But when you place two together, they connect. And that frame still connects. So as you can see, oh, if we press F3 and A, you can reload it and uh, that looks a little bit, little bit better. But we're going to get this really nice like framing around the entire uh, floor. And what we can do is we can place them all like this, pull out our wand, and look at that. We can just uh, place them all down pretty easily without having to you know, waste our time clicking. Pretty good if, you, if I don't say so myself. And then once again, hold down F3 and press A on your keyboard and you can refresh it all and make it look nice. Um, if you happen to have that visual bug, you, you might not. Um, the next thing I'm going to do is actually pick this stuff up and put it in the house. Um, we're, we're actually making some really good progress. What I might do, um, I, I, I usually don't announce when I make a cut, but I'm going to run in here and then I'm going to make sure that my audio was recording and isn't broken and, and that... And that this video can come out today. <laughs> okay, I, I, I'm back. Now, I'm extremely happy to say that it does sound like everything's working. And it also... I, I'm happy that I sound hopefully as close as happy as I sounded when I first recorded uh, the this episode that I'm trying to do here. Uh, because I... I was having so much fun. I was having so much fun. So I'm, I mean, I feel like I'm having fun and listening back to my recording just then, it, it sounds like I'm still having fun. So hopefully, hopefully uh, that's uh, translating into, into the video pretty, pretty nicely. Um, okay. Okay. So <laughs> what is next? I'm going to put the copper in. Um, a lot of this stuff can just go in. Um, pretty much my inventory should be empty, right? Like that, that's pretty much it. Um, what should I do next? You know what? We do need sheep, so I, I am going to run back over here. You know what I didn't do in the last episode, or <laughs> in the episode that doesn't exist? I did not build a bridge. And I'll tell you what, I need to build a bridge. So I'm going to build a bridge, okay? I didn't do it in the last episode because I was lazy, okay? And, and look what happened. The audio messed up. Yeah. Do you know what that's called? That's called karma, okay? <laughs> it's, it's not called karma, but you, I think you guys get the idea. I'm going to... You know what? I hear like a, a a bat dying. Do you hear that? Or is it a Tweety bird? I, <laughs> I don't know what I'm hearing. Uh, but anyhow, are these dropping? Oh no, we might be lagging. All right, all right. So I, I've got this chopped down now. Uh, I'm trying to chop it down at least. Um, I, I do want to mention one thing in terms of the server lag. Normally what we do is we pre-generate the, the world. What that means is that when someone goes exploring, whether they're as a bat or as a cheetah or a lion or, or anything else that exists, um, the chunks that they're going to have already been loaded, right? Which means it's a lot less stressful on the server to uh, run run all that. Um, this time around, we haven't done that. Now, we weren't going to pre-gen the world. Oh my God, I hate the rain. Can I turn... Hold on. I need to, I need to like disable particles. All right, all right. <laughs> the rain is gone. That, that, man... The rain just, it ruins the video, it ruins the audio, it ruins everything. Um, uh, so what was I going to say? Oh yeah, in terms of lag. Um, so normally we pre-gen it, and that means when someone explores, the server doesn't lag. That's basically what it means. Um, we didn't do it this time because the pack is uh, actively being developed. Um, and and what, what I mean by that is that chances are things are going to change. Um, and the reason why that's a problem is certain things, for example, a slime island uh, can be added to the game. And if we have the world pre gen then however big the world is, those slime islands won't be in there. Or maybe the slime islands can be added, but like the biome. So for example, whatever biome this is, this is the, um, 
this is the Sika Woods or the or the Chica Woods or something like that. We wouldn't have any in the world if we pre-gened everything because they just they wouldn't be a part of the world. We'd have to change the map or something. Um, and so that's why we weren't going to pre-gen it, but the lag's pretty rough. That I think we're going to schedule a time to do some pre-gening. Um, hopefully when people aren't online, uh, ob obviously. Um, so yeah, hopefully in the future episodes, they should be better because like this is extremely rough for the first day. Like our All The Mod 6 uh, server runs better than this does. <laughs> and that, I mean... That's been going for, what, over a year now, pretty much. Um, so, yeah, I, I thought I'd just fill you guys in there because um, it is probably standing out to you guys, and I do want to make that clear that it is something that we're trying to... We, ha we have a plan. That's that's basically where I'm going with that. We have a plan. Um, okay, so another plan that I have is these planks. I would like to make a bridge out of them. I would also like to... I guess we'll use the logs as, like, uh, pillars on the bridge. And you know what? While we're at it, Let's just use slabs instead. <laughs> I mean, why not? Where are the slabs? Come on. Oh, I didn't put them in. Slabs. Bam. There we go. That should be good. Um, so, where's the nice spot for a bridge? Well, I have a feeling that I'll probably chop these trees down. But we'll have the bridge go... Oh, where do we want the bridge? Ugh. It's so... Oh, God. It's so bad. Um, I'm going to bring it this way. Uh, you know what? I'm going to probably just do a zigzag. So, I'm going to go, like, through here... Then there, then there, okay? What are you? A grizzly bear, you know what? I, man, in the previous, once again, in this elusive episode that didn't happen, I got jump scared by the grizzly bear, okay? Absolutely jump scared. Not today, no. Today, the jumper becomes the jumpy. Um, so, I'm going to go and quickly, um, I say quickly, what I'm actually going to do is run up here out of his range. And then start hitting him. <laughs> because I would like to be able to turn into a bear. Because, I mean, hey, it's a bear. It's pretty cool. Is he going to make his way up here? Oh, he, he actually is. Oh, my God. Okay. He can't make it up there, though. Surely. Yeah. <laughs> the bear becomes the bear. I, I don't know what that means, but I don't know. As long as there's just one bear. Can I? I can go down here. Okay. Maybe, <laughs> maybe we're lagging. Okay, there we go. We, we got this guy. Um, I was also told that it might not necessarily be the world gen, um, but it might be specifically when they join. And, and normally I've got my chat off, so I think that's what's happening. I think people are joining. I'm obviously not realizing because I've got my chat off, and that's what's um, causing the big lag spikes that we're getting. Um, but yeah. Uh, anyhow, I can now... Da -da -da -da, apparently, turn into a grizzly bear. So yeah, there we go. Did we get any extra health? No. Um... I don't think we're any faster, but we're now a bear. <laughs> I'm not sure what the benefit is, apart from maybe I can scare people. You know what, actually? I never found out, even in the last episode, I say the last, even in the, the forgotten episode, I don't know what that mob is. I, I'm too curious. What is it? I also don't like that I keep making bear sounds. Let <laughs> me... It seems to be in the water, which sort of worries me. Oh. Oh, no way. Is it this little guy? No. Is it? Oh, it is. Oh, okay. I'm probably going to kill you because I want to be you. Yeah. Oh, beautiful. There's also a wizard tower. Also didn't check that out in the, in the uh, Forgotten episode, but what I am now is this guy. Can I... Okay, can't fly. But I have three health. <laughs> wow. Oh. <laughs> Man, I hit the jackpot on this one. <laughs> Alright, let me let me continue with this bridge. I'll, I'll be back with a beautiful bridge. Okay, so here is the basics of the bridge. Now you might be like, oh, what have you done here? You've you've created a hideous bridge. I don't know how you've even managed to do it. Well, you're right, you're right, but we have a solution. The wall climb thing, I still, I'm a bit, I don't know if I want to get rid of it or not because this is horrible. Um, but what we're going to do is um, expand it quite easily as well using our uh, builder's wand. Another thing I want to do just real quick, and I actually want to see if we can do it with um, these seeker planks, is can I create doors out of these? Surely. <gasps> oh, I can, and they don't look too bad, do they? Let's um grab out some doors. <laughs> we'll grab a stack of them. Yeah, sure. It, it's, it almost looks like a uh, skeleton house, but that's fine. It, uh, hey, it works. We're not going to complain. <laughs> we, we can complain a little bit, but um, what we're going to do now 
is run back down here. I know it's, it's still dark. Oh, I didn't bring torches either. Um, but we're going to grab our wand. And for example, boom. There we go. Now it's no longer a single a single file bridge. Um, now we'll go on, I guess, this side. Boom. Here we go. Run all the way down here. And then which side do we want it to be? Do we want it to be this side or this side? I think we'll do it here. Boom. There we go. Hey, <laughs> a nice little bridge here. Hopefully you guys can see that. And then what I might do is a little bit of this. Um, we can just have some some logs every so often. Uh, I've got to make it the exact amount, don't I? Like one, two, three. You know what I mean? I've got to count it out. Okay, I'll, I'll build the rest of these little pillars off camera, I think. You know what? I was going to do multiple all along the way, but I think this isn't too bad. If anything, what we can do is right here where it gets like peak darkness. Um, so uh, the problem is it's kind of like two blocks. I was going to say we could do another one, but what if we do here and here? That might work. That's nice and sort of equal on both sides. So we can do torch and torch. Oh, uh, you know, I didn't do it up one. <laughs> listen, listen, I, I definitely know what I'm doing. Okay. That's listen. There's no, no need to worry. You're in good hands. You've clicked on the right video. <laughs> That's definitely what's happened. Um, yeah, here we go. We'll do the same over here. Okay. Well, there we go. A beautiful bridge. If I say so myself. And if you say otherwise, well, I simply don't believe you. Um, I really did a horrible job at lighting up the area, didn't I? It's, I mean, we got a decent amount, but I mean, like, there's still zombies at our base. So, I mean, clearly we didn't do as decent of a job as we should have. Um, what, what else do we need to do? Because at the moment we're doing a lot of uh, vanilla stuff. You know what I mean? Like, we're just we're just placing torches. I mean, where's the, where's the mod pack in that? Um, well, I don't know. You know what we should do? While we're here, while it's nighttime. Oh. <laughs> He's in the house. Um, let's torch up this. Yep. Hello. And surprise! You didn't. You thought I was a zombie, but I'm actually a human. Um, what we're gonna do is build the roof. How about that? That seems like a good plan. You don't agree? Too bad. Too bad. So sad. Well, you're getting a roof. Um, luckily, I actually know what roof we're trying to get. Um, so I want to create a clay. We'll chuck that back in here so that we've got it built. Um, then I actually want to create a terracotta. So I'm gonna chuck the clay in there, like so. Um, another thing I would actually like to have, yep, we can quickly grab it here, is a poppy. Um, we can grab two. I want to turn one into red dye, and then we'll save the other one as a poppy. Like so. We'll grab out our terracotta when it's built. Here we go. We're, we're making a fancy roof, by the way. I hope you prepared for this. Um, terracotta. I'm going to grab out a stack. I'm going to grab out red dye. Uh, we'll surround the red dye with terracotta. This makes red terracotta, obviously. We can chuck that in here. Um, and what are we trying to build? Well, you might actually see it on the left here. We're trying to build red tiles. So this is going to be the red terracotta, and then it's going to be some planks. So we'll grab these out. And it's just these. We don't need to make it this many because obviously we can create them out of EMC. So we can chuck these back in here, chuck in the red tiles, and then grab out the red tiles. And the way this stuff works is I believe it's chiseled. Nope, I'm wrong. Um, <laughs> it's not chiseled. We can actually chuck that chisel away for now. Um, it is made with a stone cutter. So I actually need to grab some stone. Um, so we'll grab one, two, three bits of stone. And we'll go ahead and create a stone cutter. We're doing a bit of building this episode, but um, I do want to go mining. I just want to do it, um, ironically, during daytime. Oh my god. Okay, we need a bed. Um, you know what? Yeah, I'm going to get the bed. It's not worth it. I I hate I hate them. I I hate um what whatever they're called. What are they called? Phantoms. They shouldn't be in the game. Oh, I'm going the wrong way. Um, the sheep were north. I keep thinking the other way is north. Um, if someone wants to remove phantoms from Minecraft without telling whoever's in charge of Minecraft, go for it. Go for it. Not a single soul will care. No one. No one will care. Even if it means we don't get to use whatever needs phantom what elytras can be repaired we'll just put mending we'll just put mending on the elytra it's fine we don't need the phantoms they're not needed by anyone i didn't even grab steak oh it's fine all right i'll i'll meet you at each sheep we can see three on the map i'll meet you at all three. Oh, you know what i should use shears okay i'll go get food and shears and i'll come back all right ladies and gentlemen sheep number one is going to give us Looks like two wool. Three wool! Uh, we're done. I, you know what? I, once again, I was, wasn't was thinking correctly. It wouldn't matter how much wool we got, as long as we got one, because we can just dupe it with the transmutation table. 
man, it's the future. <laughs> it's the future is now. We are amongst it. Um, yeah, getting down these hills with uh, the climbing thing is very, very finicky. Um, so let's try and get in here. Okay, we'll climb over the wall, man. Oh, I'll tell you what. I'll probably put stairs in, but the climbing thing, it's its going to be short-lived. I'll tell you that much. It's on thin ice. Um, anyhow, let's go ahead and make a bed so that we can stop these phantoms from eventually atta attacking us, which I imagine they're just they are thinking about it. We'll get in the bed. We'll leave the bed. That should be good enough, right? No more of you will spawn, hopefully. Hopefully this next day they burn. Um, okay, nice. Let's, let's continue building. So what I want to build... Uh, red roofs. We're going to get these guys. Um, now there's actually a few options you can do. For example, currently we're going to do a red roof. If you wanted, you could do a slow rising red roof. So instead of being as steep as this one is, you could have it be slow. The other option is a steeper one. Um, previously, I did the normal red roof. I might go for a slow one. I want to see how it looks. Will this be a bad idea? Possibly. Does it matter? Maybe. <laughs> I'll tell you what. We're going to find out. Now, one thing is I can actually build very easily with this um, spider thing. So, um, these roofs, I'm just going to place them like this. They're a bit finicky to place. Mm, the rain returns. Uh, they're a bit finicky to place, but it's not too bad. Now, one issue I will have with these ones is they need to be slabbed. Which could be a problem because I've obviously got um, custom blocks here. Do we happen to have framed? Oh, yes. Oh, man. I, I am so happy that Chosen Architect has put all of the mods. Like, every mod that I want and that I look for happens to be here. That, that won't be the same for everyone, but I'm just happy that the stuff I'm looking for is here. What you can do with these frame blocks is I can place a framed slab and put in these custom stone bricks that we have as the slabs, which currently you can't actually turn them into slabs. It doesn't work. So, oh, that is extremely awesome. Um, in order to do this, we need planks and sticks. So let's go ahead and make some sticks. And then we can get frame cubes, which, yep, they've got EMC values. That is awesome. And then you can actually um, put these in the stone cutter. No, you put them in the, the wood cutter. What's it called? Is it called a wood cutter? It's called a wood cutter. It's going to be iron and um, planks. So we'll grab out our, our um, iron. Here we go. Wood cutter. I'm hoping this works. Place that there. Oh, by the way, I forgot to make the joke. I made this joke um, in the video that doesn't exist, but you ready? Now it's like, oh, don't dangle your feet. And then you ready? You ready? Oh. Now suddenly, it's a Bond villain trap, eh? Huh? Oh, I'm so funny. Oh, that's, that's awesome. That's, that's good. That's good. Um, frame cube. Okay, that doesn't work. How do I... Am I crazy? I'm crazy. It's not actually an option. You craft each of these things individually. Hmm. In Create Above and Beyond, I'm pretty sure. Or maybe even in in an ATM, you put them in a woodcutter. Uh, hey, honestly, this is better. This is easier. I can work with this. Let's make our uh, slabs, and let's also make stairs preemptively because I have a feeling we're going to be using some stairs. Um, and I'll even chuck them in there just to you know have them in there. So I'm going to grab slabs now. This is actually perfect. We can place the slabs here. Then we can grab out our stone bricks, our, our wide bricks. And apply them. How cool is that? I am so happy. Um, so the next thing I want to do is place more of these and just slowly build up. Now, some of these can obviously be full blocks, which is convenient. Um, wait a second. Oh. Oh, that's a problem. Hold on. How, do, how does this work? So if it's not going to place there because it's a... Unless, can I place a frame slab and place that... No. No. No, that doesn't work. Huh. Um, I, I didn't think about this. So how does this work? That's going to... You know what? It places a big block. Okay? You know what? I think it... I think it will work. It might look a bit weird, but I think it will work. Um, no, that obviously doesn't work. Yeah, it's a bit... It's definitely a bit weird. So how am I meant to do this? Am I meant to place this here and do that? Yeah, I am. Oh, but we've actually... Is this halfway? I've built the house incorrectly. <laughs> Previously, we, we had our house a bit longer, I guess. Okay, that's fine. You know what? It's fine. It's fine. I don't know why you guys are stressing so much. Everything's fine. Bada bing, bada boom. Ah, oh, that looks ugly, doesn't it? 
This bit looks weird. Why this bit? Why did it do that? Why? Why? <laughs> I don't know. Doesn't that look ugly? Uh, you know what? We're going to stick with it. We're going to stick with it. And I'll show you what that means. That means we're going to grab out our builder's wand. Oh, actually, yeah. And we're going to do this. We're going to build it out. And we'll, I guess we'll just see what it looks like. Man, I am, I'm regretting switching up my roof already. This, <laughs> this is disgusting. <laughs> you know, it's pretty... It's, it's in theme. I'll, I'll, I will say that. It's definitely in theme. You know, the house we had previously, you guys won't believe me. You won't believe me, but it looked nice. Okay, I know you won't believe me, but I'm telling you, man. I'm telling you it looked nice. <laughs> okay, wh what can we do here? I think this looks bad, but I don't think it has to. Okay, I'll be honest. I don't think it has to look bad. I think we can redeem it. What I'm going to do is put these uh, roof slows away, or whatever they're called. Can I place these in here? No, they have to be in this. Um, then what we're going to do is get roof slow side, and we'll get roof... Um, roof, huh, we, we want a roof eave, we want a roof eave side, and then we want the roof ridge, and I think the ridge goes in the middle, um, so I'm gonna place these in here, and I'm gonna, like, withdraw them again, <laughs> in the, in the stacked loads, um, so we'll go, what, roof eave, roof slow side, roof eave side, and I'll show you how all this stuff works, um, just real quick. Okay, so, let me show you how, um, what do you reckon? The, the roof eave works. So, the eave gets placed right here. And it sort of connects on like that. There we go. So, we can do a line of that. Beautiful. Um, on the side of it, you want to pr uh, place the roof eave side. So, we can place this guy like so. And it adds a side there, obviously. The next thing we want to do. Now, this might look a bit weird, but I'm hoping it doesn't. Is we want to get the... Um, Roof slow side. And this is going to go on the side of, well, the roof. So, right there. Oh, not there. Oh, God. We've fallen. Luckily, we can climb. So, it's actually... Honestly, it's, it's not that bad. Um, roof side. Where are we? Roof slow side. Maybe I'll jump and do it. There we go. That looks nice. And then that one there. Um, and we're obviously going to do this on all the other parts. If I can reach them. That's obviously uh, a factor. There we go. That looks pretty nice. Obviously, we'll need to do the eaves. So, these will go here. Oh, <laughs> not there, but up a little bit. Um, I don't know if we'll have some sort of block we can place there, like some terracotta or something, um, to fill in the gaps that I think will inevitably be there. Um, but how does that... Does that look horrible? I think it does look horrible. Hold on. Maybe they don't go there. You know what? They don't, do they? Because it doesn't make sense for them to go there. Why would they go there? No, they don't go there. Yeah. They go here, because they connect with the actual roof. Yeah. You know what? I'm, I'm, I'm apparently losing it, okay? Listen, it's been, it's been a long day. <laughs> bear with me. Please bear with me. Um, here we go. We'll do this around here. Boom, 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 boom. And then we'll put the sides on, and then we're done with the eaves. <laughs> we're done with the eaves. Okay, everyone relax. We're just building a roof, okay? There's nothing to worry about. Okay, that's all placed. Um, oh, actually, this one isn't. How did I miss that? You think you do it all, and then you apparently don't. Um, I'm going to try and get on the roof. So we'll climb back up here. And now we need to place the roof ridges, which <laughs> seemingly have to be placed on a block. And I do actually have a block, so we can place a template block. And boom, boom. No, not boom. Why did you place that way? But then when I stand here, you place that way too. What are, what are you doing? What do you What do you think this is? What? <laughs> am, I, am I crazy? Huh? Am I losing it? What is... What are, what are you? Oh, okay. Hold on. I think I know. I think what I need to do... Oh. Is place them like this. And then place them like that. No, but that doesn't... What are the... <laughs> oh, am I... I'm crazy. I'm crazy. What is it called? A ridge. Ridge. Red roof ridge. Uh, previously when I made this, they just connected in the middle. I didn't need to build a quote-unquote red roof ridge. I I don't know what to tell you. I don't know what to tell you. Alright, I, I actually do have a sort of new idea. What if we were to bring this upwards, like this, and then place that on top? Right? I think this adds character, as the, as the people say. <laughs> right? So I can now build this up here, 
Because I think that's how they... I think they just connect to blocks next to them. So I think this is their intended use. I think. Now, we might change some of these blocks, so bear with me, but... Oh, God. Why does it look so gross? It's not meant for this at all, but I'm doing it anyway. I'm doing it... Oh, ugh. Does that look nice? It really doesn't. Man, oh my god, this this is just an... You know what? Okay, I'll tell you what. I'm tearing this stuff down. It all has EMC value. I am going to build. I'm gonna... Uh, <laughs> I'm gonna fix the house. I'll be back with the house fixed. Alright, guys. I'm clearly back. I'm back. I've replaced them with just the normal roofs. They're not steep. They're just the normal roofs. We're, we're doing it all like this. Because check out this. If I place the um, ridge part, it should connect beautifully. I might need to give it a beam, um, as in a little bit of this inside, which we could change out for like a log or something. It's fine. But they should now... Um, have I switched out again? Man, I keep doing that. Um, they now connect. And they look not horrific. Okay, that's the goal here. Not horrific. And I think we've done pretty well. Let's finish off these. There might be some stuff on the side I have to do, but... I just wanted to show you that. Okay, let me... Man, what an exhausting experience. I, listen, I've got this. Everything is fine. Alright, so it's not the prettiest thing, but I'll tell you what. We can work on it, okay? We, we can work on it. For starters, one thing we can do is we can grab out sand, and we can go ahead and get some glass going. That Hey, that sounds like a great idea, doesn't it? We can, we, yeah, we, we, can, we can get some of that happening. We can clear our inventory. That's pretty nice. Huh? Didn't see that coming, did you? Um, you know what? Let's switch out our pickaxe for another one. Let's switch out our iron wand for another one. Why not? Um, we should have the glass very shortly. And the glass, oh my god, it's going to lighten this place up. It's going to be beautiful. You know what? Inside, not too bad. Eh? Not too bad, I'd say. Let's um, go glass again. Um, this time, I want to grab out a chisel. So here we go, chisel. We should be able to chisel the glass into something nice. <laughs> uh, we should have been able to. Glass chisel. Have I have I done something to not let the chisel work? Ah, someone might have joined. You know what? Yep. I see Psybeam who wasn't on before, so the server's currently lagging because that's a thing. Okay, L ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. Now you might notice in the tone of my voice that that something something's happened. Um, so <laughs> this episode, I'm telling you, it it's not meant to be. It is not meant to happen. I. <laughs> hey guys, I went mining off camera. Now, now, hold on, hold on. Whilst I'm serious, I went mining and happened to not be recording, I got rid of it all, okay? We don't do that here. We don't, we don't do quote-unquote mining off camera, but I literally did. I, I found diamonds. I found a bunch of stuff. We have a ghost in our corner. Oh, it's so upsetting. I somehow wasn't recording again. Let me double check. Okay, I'm recording this time, so the audio better be good. I better be recording... Surely, surely nothing else can go wrong. Man, what a what an experience. Um, you might also notice I chucked frame slabs up here with the um stripped oak logs. Nice, I think that looks pretty cool. And I added in some horizontal framed glass, and I just made that by putting glass in the chisel. Um, and it connected its textures. So yeah, that that's nice. That's that's a silver lining. Um, oh, okay. Now, do, do you know what's pretty annoying? So there's some pretty cool stuff in the ravine that I that I came across. Um, some of it is obviously diamonds. I only found a few diamonds, but I actually found a completely different type of gem. It's called a um a source gem. Where is it? This stuff right here, a source gem. Um, and as you can see by its EMC value, it's eight thousand, and a diamond is also eight thousand. So we essentially found a bunch of diamonds. Now, the issue is because it's such a good item to find, right? There's a lot of them that I found. I pretty much mined them all. <laughs> so, I mined them all. And, and obviously, because I just, all I did was delete the stuff I, I mined. Um, now that stuff isn't in the cave. So, this is going to be pretty rough. I'll tell you that much. It's going to be pretty rough. But I need to go mining. I still, because, because I think the diamond is an integral part to this entire operation, I do want to find the diamond on camera. I don't want to find it off camera. It took me a long time to... Is this some? It's a monster box. So this should actually turn into, in a second, a bunch of mobs. Yep. Nice. Um, obviously, I'm a zombie, so they don't actually care about me. And in that case, it doesn't actually matter. Um, there's some cool ores. So fiery glass ore. We'll grab some. 
It has an EMC value and it can actually be used to make a block and fiery torches, which apparently are a little bit brighter than a regular torch and they can work underwater. So pretty cool, pretty cool block. Um, we'll definitely want to be picking up uranium, assuming, yep, we're still recording, um, because th it's worth a decent amount of um, EMC if we search uranium. Um, it's 4,000 EMC. That's a, that's a decent chunk right there. Um, we'll get some zinc. We only need one just to get more out of it. We'll get some dimension shards, just so that once again, we've got some more. Um, sulfur. We'll grab some more uraninite. This stuff's worth, I think, 2,000, so that's pretty good. Um, and yeah, hopefully you guys can see... Oh, who are you? A wilden hunter. He, I believe he can summon wolves. He's pretty cool. Um, this is the gem, by the way. Source gem ore. Extremely good. We're going to be picking up all that we can find, and we're going to hope that nothing goes wrong with this episode, or, <laughs> or else we don't have anything uh, left to mine out of this massive ravine. Um... So yeah, the, the other thing was I double checked because I wasn't too sure, but we are in fact, um, like bedrock is still at Y equals zero. The reason why I had to check is because I really, I couldn't, <laughs> I couldn't find any diamonds and I was like, maybe they spawn like really far under the ground. Um, th this is also pretty lucky. We are finding a lot of the ores that are like unique ores. And once we have one of them, we have infinite, right? It, in To some extent we have infinite. Um, so I'm, I'm happy that we can at least find one of each ore. And my main goal is to minimize the amount of mining I have to do at all, whether it's on camera or off camera. I mean, some of you might like mining. I don't like mining with an iron pickaxe, so I'd, I'd rather do the least amount of it as I can. And what that means is by picking up these expensive ores and sort of not wasting my time on some of these uh, lesser ores. Oh, what's it? What are you? Cinnabar. Okay, we'll grab you. I'm pretty sure it's like useless, but we'll grab one just to have it. Might as well. Um, and we'll continue on our way. There's more source gems over here. These are very, very, very much worth it. So we'll wait until that disappears and we'll grab ourselves some EMC, essentially. Essentially, we're just mining EMC pockets because it's used in Air's Nuvia, but I don't think it's worth that of a diamond. I, unless there's some recipe that converts it into a diamond, it's not worth, it's not worth the same amount of a diamond in my eyes. I don't, I'm a bit surprised that it, well, is worth that much. Uh, oh, this is redstone. Nice. Redstone was also quite difficult to find. And I did find diamond, uh, emerald, sorry, in the same cave I found diamond. It was a massive lava lake. Uh, but I didn't mine it yet. So this is actually convenient. Um, I might even... Do you get an achievement for that? No, I guess not. Um, I don't think I mind it. Maybe I did though. Uh, more uranium. The more the merrier, as per usual. <laughs> um, but yeah, I don't usually like doing too much mining. So I'd rather get it all done in one go. I can't actually mine this. We need a level obsidian. Uh, moonstone ore. So we'll need a diamond pickaxe for that. So, hey, let's hope we find some uh, some diamond. At least at least one. <laughs> we literally only need one. That's the beauty. We just need one. The issue is getting that one. <laughs> um, more uranium. Yep. Um, I'd love to do it in one take because I, the last thing I want to do is like a cut and then, oh, guys, look what I stumbled upon in the woods. It's a diamond. <laughs> um, but honestly, even at this point, with the amount of times I've had to like delete my inventory and delete things that I've built because I've I, either I haven't been recording somehow, we've got Amethyst over there, um, or the audio is broken. It's like at this point, if I wanted to, man, we would have found diamonds. You know what I mean? Like it's well within my powers to just sneak a diamond ore in here. Um, I do want a bit of this just so that we have it. So we'll grab some of that. And we'll continue anyway. I think I mined from a different deposit. I think we have multiple amethyst uh, deposits here because I don't think this is where I mined. We are, by the way, at Y level like 18, which is pretty much diamond territory, right? Diamonds, they spawn in. Oh, you know what? We do have to be a little bit lower. They can spawn at this level though, like 16, 17. They can spawn there. They, sh they should exist, but we're just not... Uh, this cave does not want to give them to us. Um, we've got lapis. We've got a lot of this stuff. Once again, I, I don't want to mine <laughs> any of the useless ores, essentially. Um, what's that? More fiery glass. Okay. <laughs> I'm still... I'm, I'm keeping like this... Uh, diamond. Beautiful. Okay, we're good. We're good. It doesn't matter if I cut now because we have one. Okay. Oh, we got um three, it looks like. Oh, my God. Oh, four. We got four. Once again. Oh, five. It, it doesn't really matter. Because we have these. So we've essentially got um, 15, right? 
And those purple ones spawn so much more often than the uh, than the diamonds do. Like I had I had like twenty eight of them uh, before <laughs> before before when I wasn't recording. You remember? You guys remember that time? Yeah, yeah. That's that's when I had them all. Um, let me make sure that I know my way out by doing a little bit of that. Um, oh, another lava lake. Emeralds. I don't think I care. How much are emeralds worth? Oh, hold on. Maybe I do care. <laughs> Maybe suddenly I do care about the emeralds. Is that... That's a zombie. I thought it might have been a diamond. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I, I, last time I was mining, I made a comment about how every time I play a mod pack and the textures look different, someone calls me out for not recognizing diamond and thinking that, like, appetite's diamond. I just, I just thought a zombie was a diamond. <laughs> I think we've hit an all an all-time low um, over here. I don't know what's over there. Um, yeah, we're looking pretty good. I don't think I need to worry too much about anything, to be completely honest. Realistically, I should probably run back to the base and pretty much wrap things up. I'll get these last, uh, essentially diamonds from the roof. Okay, okay. I, I really hope everything's worked fine up until this point. Hopefully you guys are enjoying the video. Hopefully me complaining about constantly messing up my recording hasn't, you know, spoiled the fun for you guys. Um, ho hopefully if anything, it's added something as you can point and laugh at the, the silly man who's doing silly things, man. Oh, <laughs> I can't believe I, I swear if something else goes wrong here, the, the episode might just not happen. Deep slate coal. Ore. That looks very weird. Because it's, it's like it's not meant to be. All right, all right. I, I need, to, I need to stop talking about it. <laughs> I, I feel like I'm just, I'm prophesizing it, or I don't know the right word, but I'm like willing it into existence. Um, anyhow, I'll grab this, and I will now, I believe, meet you guys back at our base. Hopefully, ladies and gentlemen, home sweet home. Now. There, there is another thing I want to mention. Um, well, actually, you know what? It can wait. For now, let me chuck all this stuff in. So the redstone, the fiery glass, pretty much anything that will go in. 186 EMC. That's pretty much where we were before. So we've actually... We've caught up pretty nicely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, we're, we're doing pretty good in terms of catching up to where we were. Um, one thing I want to do quickly is... I crafted these again off camera, but get some hoppers and some chests. And I want to set up a quick um, auto smelting thing. So we'll get a furnace as well. Wherever the furnaces hide. There they go. We'll slap this guy here. Place a chest. Place a hopper into it. Place a hopper on top. Fill this guy up with charcoal. And then go ahead and get all this stuff smelted. So we'll start with like the tin, the zinc, the lead, the nickel, the gold, and then the uranium last. Um, and yeah, we'll get all that stuff smelted. Beautiful. This guy can have the junk that doesn't have EMC values. And what else? Um, oh, there was something I was going to say. What was I going to say? It's coming to me. No, I cut myself off to build that, didn't I? Oh, no. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, okay, okay, I, I remember. Um, so, I was looking on the map, right? And I was trying to find a cool mob that we could look for, right? Um, there was, uh, there was like a wilden stalker out here. So, that's like a, almost like a, a, an owl man sort of thing. And I was like, that's pretty boring. I don't really want to go for that. I've seen him before on all the mod six. Um, and then I was looking around. There's like a wilden defender there. Wilden Hunter. Um, yeah, here's some Wilden Stalkers. And then I found a white dot over here. Oh, yeah. Right where that waypoint is. Can you imagine what it was? It was a Tasmanian Devil. It was a Tasmanian Devil. <laughs> now, me being Australian, not, not Tasmanian. I, I made the joke before, but you guys weren't there, so I'll make it again. I don't have, like, ten arms, okay? So I'm not, I'm not Tasmanian, okay? Um, but I, I am Australian, so I went and got this guy. I did a little bit of a Steve Irwin bit as I chased up to him. I was like, oh, crikey, you know, the, the classic stuff. You know, I, I pulled all the, all the tricks in the book, but it's sort of funny. now. It's funny, but it's not funny. But obviously, we're not going to find another one. We're not going to find another Tasmanian devil. So I think that I quite literally put them into extinction <laughs> off camera. <laughs> off camera, I made these, these Tasmanian devils into that. I also got a tortoise. Or a tortoise. <laughs> I don't know if you, you guys uh, noticed that as well. He was actually in the caves. I was hoping he would give me some armor. But um, sadly, he's just a tortoise. <laughs> he doesn't really do much, but he's a tortoise. Um, he's got a massive hand. Look at that hand. Phenomenal. Um, but yeah, 
that's that's pretty much where we left off. Oh, the noises these things make. Uh, I let's just get back into a human sound. I make far less horrific sounds. <laughs> At least I think I do. Um, so yeah, this episode. Listen, we've gotten situated. Um, a point I made uh, off camera. <laughs> a, a point I made off camera was this pack is very build oriented. Um, what that means is that it is so easy with the tools that we're given, the mods we're given, all the stuff we have access to. It is incredibly easy for us to build buildings and make things look nice, or at least try to make things look nice. And so from the get go in this series, I want to do that. Okay. I want you guys to call me out if I build something or like if I just slap down machines without giving them a building or a structure around them, or, or even just something as simple as a floor. Um, because we have the technology, we should do it. Right now, by the way, I could, if I wanted to, make a pulverizer. We're probably going to do this in the next episode, but like, this stuff is so easy to get. We could easily make a pulverizer or a smeltery. All of this stuff has EMC value. We could do this all. I'm going to save that for the next episode. But on top of that, we're going to make things look nice. Sort of like how in all the mods see... Oh, I actually, you know what? I am going to look at him. Uh -huh. Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, because we, if we get an ender pill, that's perfect. Because you know, infinite ender pill, and we actually do need ender pills for quite a few different things. So, ideally, we get an ender pill here. Do I think we will? Judging by how all these episodes have gone, we'll get the ender pill. But then, like, my footage will corrupt. The power will go out. My house will get nuked by Russia, thinking, thinking that I'm Ukraine. I'm clearly not. Did we get it? No, we didn't. Ah. Uh. Or we'll just not get it. Or we'll just not get an enderpearl. But, on the cool note, I can become... You ready? Enter. You ready? Watch my height. I can become... Slenderman. Or Enderman. I'm, I'm pale enough to be an Enderman. Or a Slenderman. Um, what was I going to say? <laughs> I don't even remember. <laughs> I, I, listen, I don't, know what, I don't know what's going on. Not a clue. Um, but yeah, yeah. We can build some stuff. We're just going to have to build houses. In all the mod six, that's what I was saying. In all the mod six, we've gone around to like previous structures we've built where we've just slapped down machines and we've tried to pretty them up. I want to do that from the get go. Okay, hopefully you guys are enjoying this series so far. The first episode. What? Uh, you know what? Someone joined. Either Zoom or Zapper <laughs> or, or Zapper, sorry, um, or Daniel. You know what? Quite a few people got in here. Um, so we'll, we'll see. We'll see. Um, what was I? I was, I'm losing my train of thought. Listen, it has been a long day. My voice has been put through the ringer. I've recorded hours upon hours of gameplay and only like one hour is going to make it into an actual video because it's the only hour that got recorded. Um, I really hope this audio is fine. If this audio isn't fine, man. You know what? We're not going to go there. We're not going to go there. Um, but yeah, hopefully, hopefully you enjoyed this episode. They're not normally this chaotic in terms of outside of the camera shenanigans normally it's you know on camera shenanigans um if it's your first time here thank you for stopping by hopefully even if this is the last episode you watch um hopefully you had a good time hopefully i didn't waste too much of your time um thank you to everyone who's watched um who has liked the video and subscribed to me that stuff helps me out big time um the channel's been growing like crazy for years now <laughs> i say for years for for a year which i'm very grateful for um thank you to everyone including you watching the video right now for supporting me financially. Even if you're watching the ads at the start, that stuff helps me out big time. Um, each and every one adds up like much more than you probably think. Um, so thank you guys so much. Thank you to everyone who's donated and uh, and uh, become a channel member and that sort of stuff. That stuff keeps these servers alive. It helps us, you know, upgrade the hardware in the future, hopefully. Um, and it keeps the videos coming. So thank you guys so much. Um, I, I probably will never be able to say that enough. Um, so thank you guys. And yeah... I think that's it. I'm going to hopefully rest my my lungs, my voice box. <laughs> I'm going to drink a lot of water. <laughs> Thank you guys for watching. Hopefully I see you guys either in the server, in the video, in the... Ho hopefully I see you somewhere. <laughs> All right. Goodbye.